Good morning, this is Saturday, June 18th, and today's devotion is Keep Recognizing Jesus. This is Matthew 14. Peter walked in the water to go to Jesus, but when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. Matthew 14. The wind really was boisterous and the waves were really high, but Peter didn't see them at first. He didn't consider them at all. He simply recognized his Lord, stepped out in recognition of the Lord, and walked on water. Then he began to take those things around him into account, and instantly down he went. He took his eyes off Jesus and looked at his surroundings. And I have a question to ask us. Do we do this with the condition of the world we're living in today? I hear so many Christians constantly going on and on and on about politics and health and gas prices and that's what he's talking about and that's what happened to peter he had his eyes fixed on the lord walking through a storm yet when he stopped and looked at his circumstances and took his eyes off jesus he began to sink are we doing that today with what's happening in our world why couldn't our lord have been able to walk at the bottom of the waves as well as on top of them well he could have yet neither could be done without peter's continuing recognition or keeping his eyes on jesus we step right out with recognition on god in some things then because of circumstances of the world self-consideration enters into it and down we go if you are truly recognizing your lord you have no business being concerned about how or where he engineers your circumstances where you stand is where you stand in him the things surrounding you are real but when you look at them, you're immediately overwhelmed and even unable to recognize Jesus. All we do is see them. We don't see the Lord. Then comes his rebuke. Why did you doubt? Let your actual circumstances be what they may. You can't change them. But keep recognizing Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. In the midst of all that's going on, keep your eyes set on Christ, maintaining complete reliance upon him. If you debate for even one second when God has spoken, it is all over for us. Never start to say, well, I wonder if he really did speak to me about this. Be reckless immediately, totally unrestrained and willing to risk everything and cast all of our worries upon him and walk on the water. You do not know when his voice will come to you, come to you. but whenever the realization of God comes to us, even in the faintest way imaginable, again, be determined to recklessly abandon yourselves, surrendering everything to him to answer that call. It is only through abandonment of yourself and your circumstances that you will see him. You only recognize his voice more clearly through recklessness. Be willing to risk your all. And this is the last research I have for us this week. I want you to look up the word reckless. And see if we dare to be this in our spiritual lives in regards to our relationship with Jesus. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for the joy that I feel when I hear that word reckless. It just makes me feel like I can abandon everything and just walk towards you. So, Lord, may we be reckless today in our abandonment towards you. And, Lord, if we are indeed focused on the things of the world, if the things I mentioned are weighing us down, I pray right now, Father, that we would lift up our heads and recognize you again and allow you to lift us up to where you know we need to be. We love you, Father. We thank you for this week of devotions, and we give it all to you. In Christ's name, amen. God bless, and I will see you at church tomorrow at 9 o'clock because we have Sunday school. That's right. We start Sunday school this Sunday, so 9 o'clock. So praise team you got to be here by 8. 8 o'clock for praise team, 9 o'clock Sunday school, and then right into worship service. God bless, and I'll see you there.